Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have something very interesting. It is Justin Rodriguez who apparently started using site enhancement oils or Sintel. Can you notice it? <laughs> I'm sure you can. That left leg, the left quad, that lateral head of the quadricep looks super duper swollen. Now, I don't know, it could be, like theoretically speaking, it could be an infection because a lot of bodybuilders are using that area to inject gear and it is an area that is very sensitive, has a lot of nerves, so, you know, stuff happens with that area, but would it be like this round? It looks like he injected oil everywhere along the, the, the entire muscle. I don't... When, when you get an infection or something like that, it's usually one bump, it's not like the entire quadricep. So I think he just started using Sintel. Now, if you talk about what is suspicious on his body, it's definitely not quads. The quads are not suspicious. They are quite obviously... Something is going on to them, it's obvious. But what is suspicious is his biceps. So if he's using that stuff, why wouldn't he use it in the other body parts that are lagging? I mean, some of them are just much more suited for this kind of enhancement, especially biceps. You can, you, it, it's, it's, it's not that obvious when you inject it in your biceps, but when you do it in your quads, it shows, usually. But as far as the biceps, I mean, you can see the difference between the biceps and the triceps. It's, it's not something that happens naturally. You usually don't have this kind of disbalance in your arms. Either you have big arms, both biceps and triceps, or you don't have big arms. It seems like Justin's weakness are his arms, and he didn't inject his triceps, but he injected his biceps like a maniac, apparently. It seems like it, because look at that left bicep, look at the right bicep, especially. I might be wrong, but I think that's most likely what happened to this guy, what he decided. I think he decided to go down that way because... Look, look, he has a lot of muscle. This guy is a freaking monster. He is in his 280s right now with this shape. And that's outstanding. Like, he is really, really big. His legs are not small. His legs are huge. They have been huge before. But he has really, really wide shoulders. It's ridiculous how wide his shoulders are. I'm guessing he also stuffed them with some oil, so they are looking that... That, that, that big, that wide, but whatever he did, I mean, the, the, the width through the shoulders made his legs look smaller, because he has such wide shoulders, his quads, especially his outer heads, his lateral heads, his outer sweep needs to be bigger, to make it a good silhouette, to make it a balanced and symmetrical physique. He tried to do it with training, and apparently it wasn't happening because it needed a lot more improvement, a lot. And so, obviously, he decided to take this path, to take this route. He has been very active lately on social media. This is the post that he made four days ago. What is, what is weird looking here? Look at that leg. Look at the side leg. It looks like he was stung by a bee. So, if it actually was an infection, in four days there would be some bruising, there would be some black and blue, or at least it would deflate a little, it wouldn't get bigger or just the same. So I am pretty sure he's using the oil, I'm pretty sure he stuffed those quads with some Sintel or whatever, whatever kind of site enhancement oil he decided to use. Take a look at this photo for example, this is him obviously much younger, and take a look at his legs. So, what is weakness of Justin Rodriguez today? It is the leg size compared to his shoulders, to compared to his upper body mass, and also the details, the deep cuts. He has no cuts, no details, no striations, no feathers, nothing is going on in his legs. They are obviously conditioned when he's on stage, but there is no detail. I thought this must be genetic. But now, looking at this photo when he was younger, he had a lot of details. Look at the, the, the separation and, and the feathers, the lines on his vastus medialis, on his teardrop. Look at it, look at the details everywhere, the dryness. He had it at one point. Look at his chest back in the day and look at his chest now. It did not change, it's still as conditioned, just bigger. So don't think it's only because he grew so much that he lost the detail. I don't agree with that. Because his chest grew and it has even more details. So I'm pretty sure Justin has been using oil in his quads 
for quite a while. Apparently he was doing smaller dosages, it wasn't that noticeable season to season, but I think he decided to go heavy in this off season and to actually get those legs to the size where they need to be finally. But it seems like he took it a little bit too far and it shows and I think it's gonna hurt his placement. I don't know if he's aware of that, but I feel like he shot himself in the foot a little bit by overdoing it. A little bit is fine, but this much? I don't know. So here in this comparison when he was younger and now, you can also see the biceps. Is it normal that biceps grow like this? I mean the triceps, they grew naturally, uh, I mean not naturally, but without the Stite Enhancement Oil, I can see that, like they grew, but I still have the same shape. It looks like his biceps are deformed. They look they look like they have been enhanced with oil. They don't look natural anymore. They don't look like it's real muscle. But forget about the biceps. It's not a problem. What is obviously a problem is the legs. Like they grew like like crazy. This is the photo from last year, 2021. As you can see his legs weren't exactly small, but he is definitely upper body dominant. Quite a bit. Not just the upper body, but especially the shoulder width, like he's really wide through the shoulders and that's why he needs more sweep in the legs. But can you really add more sweep to these legs? No, not without the help of Sintel, Sight Enhancement Oils. So apparently he had to do that, to, to create that illusion, because his legs could not get any thicker, really. And uh, still, I mean, he's big everywhere, upstairs and downstairs. But for guys of this size, it's definitely preferable that they are a little bit more bottom heavy. I'm not talking about big Grammy bottom heavy, but I'm also not talking about Brandon Curry upper body heavy. I feel like it's ideal if legs are a tiny bit more dominant compared to the torso. Something like, you know, Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, Ty Green. These guys still have huge upper bodies, but not much bigger than the legs. And Justin, he has big legs, but he has enormously wide shoulders and just upper body is just so massive that it was hurting his symmetry and he had to improve those legs. He, I'm sure he tried for years to do it without pushing the, 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 the CEOs like a maniac, like he did in this offseason. It didn't work and now he had to go that, that route. Uh, apparently, I think he messed that up a little. It is way too obvious now, I mean, it looks weird. It doesn't look suspicious, it looks really weird, really odd. So I hope this will, I don't know, he will somehow manage to make it look normal by the time Arnold Classic comes. And you guys know that Arnold Classic is a little bit more about the aesthetics. And if he really wants to win it, as he says he will, he needs to work on this and fix it somehow. I don't know how, but I'm, I just don't like it. It looks weird and it's going to get marked down for sure. I, I never really saw him winning this Arnold Classic. Yeah, I know he's a monster, he's a beast, but there are guys like Brandon Curry, Brad Wilkin who are super aesthetic, who look very, very fresh, who have really nice lines, who are going to, I'm pretty sure, who are going to beat him even though they are not as big as him. So I think he just wanted to improve his physique, but I think he chose the wrong way to do it. Unfortunately, it looks weird now. And I think he needs to fix this somehow before it's too late. Whatever you guys think, do you think this is Sintel or maybe just an infection or whatever your thoughts are on guys using Sintel in today's modern bodybuilding? Tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it and for more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.